Are you interested in the 1940 wheat penny value? Then you've come to the right place. We're going to look at how color and condition affects the value of individual coins. We'll investigate some interesting error coins, and we'll find out more about the history and design of 1940 pennies along the way. The name wheat penny comes from the design on the reverse of these coins, the tails side. It shows two ears of wheat curving symmetrically up the sides of the coin. It's the original design used for the coins commonly known as Lincoln cents or Lincoln pennies. These were first struck in 1909, and they were historic for two different reasons. The first is that 1909 was a special year. It marked 100 years since the birth of the assassinated U.S. President Abraham Lincoln. The second reason is that, until then, no real person had ever appeared on a U.S. coin. The head sides of U.S. coins usually bore an image of Lady Liberty, but the anniversary resulted in an outpouring of affection for the former president, and a coin bearing his image was considered a fitting tribute. The same portrait that appeared on those first Lincoln pennies is still used on cents today, but the image on the reverse has changed several times. Fifty years after the wheat pennies were introduced, the design was changed to the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. And 50 years after that, it changed again to the design known as the Union Shield. That's the one that still appears on the reverse of the scent to this day. Both the portrait of Lincoln and the ears of Durham Wheat were the work of the same man. Victor David Brenner had been born in Shavli, in what was then Russia. Both his father and grandfather were metal workers, and Brenner was schooled in artistic ironwork from an early age. In 1880, he emigrated to the U.S., where he worked as an engraver and die cutter. He later traveled to Paris to continue his artistic education before returning to New York in 1906. His design for the wheat penny wasn't his first attempt. He'd originally proposed a tree branch, but this was considered too similar to French coins of the time. Brenner originally proposed to sign Lincoln's portrait, but that was considered unacceptable. So instead, he added his initials to the design on the reverse. Unfortunately for him, these two were considered too prominent. Despite his protests, his initials were removed and were not reinstated until 1918. From then on, they appeared on the cutoff at the bottom of Lincoln's portrait. The pennies made in 1940 were 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc. It was the same composition that had been used for the earliest wheat pennies. But soon afterwards, U.S. involvement in the Second World War saw shortages of both copper and tin. Production of bronze cents was cut dramatically in 1942 before ceasing altogether until 1944. In the intervening years, pennies were instead made from steel coated in zinc. The words, in God we trust, arch above his head, while the word liberty is to the left of his portrait. On the right is the date. And if the penny was struck in Denver or San Francisco, the mint mark, a small d or s, will appear just below the date. The very finest coins are worth considerably more. At MS67, the PCJS values a red 1940 Philadelphia penny at $190. The highest quality coins found to date are graded a point higher. The PCGs has certified eight of those and values them at $9,000 apiece.